Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kadash, that by honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone peace site, take to the brothers doing the work of sincerity and in truth. The hopeful elect the brothers wait and pray every day for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai to return so we can get out to this place, peace site, thanks to you, brothers, man. Hey, uh, you know, yesterday we had a, uh, a, a scoffer by the name of Larry. <laughs> Larry, little Larry came through with, you know, I guess uh, spirit. I guess you know how you got guys that's out here that watch videos of brothers, and then they get that that courage to come out and and, and try to think they could uh, could find brothers that's that's really sincere about this work. You know, yesterday he got he got a uh, twisted like a pretzel in a in an MMA match. You know, <laughs> with a little mustard. You know what I mean? His dip. He got he could. He couldn't get out of it, you know what I mean. So all the, all in all, he, you know what they do? They, they just try to blow it off. Right after you get cut, when the cut, when the blood that starts dripping constantly, they got to get out of there. They got to get out the, they got to get out the uh, war, the war zone. Yeah, they, when, hey, they want to get out the war after that, you know. But hey, and this thing, hey, it was prophesied this thing was gonna happen to us. We was gonna suffer. We was gonna have to uh, deal with niggas all the time, but the scoffers. How was I had to deal with him, man? And he he was proving that people seen him do miracles and things of that nature. But they were still more the Pharisees was worried about their position. You know, uh, guys was at one time uh, uh, in in that time were were just changing their whole uh, 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 thoughts. You know, like when Yahweh was shy being put up there, they didn't even care really what happened to him. You know, because it was wasn't it wasn't affecting them. So we gotta understand. A, a lot of things these niggas don't care about, just the truth, you know, through the elect, the elect is bound to save the rest of the nation of Israel be through Yahweh Shah, you know, so they, they, they're, they're, you know, do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, so like it, do, do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, so we, we men out here laboring <laughs> to, for the work in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and these guys just, just look at it like we just niggas in, in dresses, you know, so you know it's 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 amazing, man. But you know the, the nigga got cut, but that's how it's gonna be. And brothers know that. And but brothers, like every cat get that. You get Edomites. The week before, we had some Holocaust uh, so-called survivor family <laughs> members. You know, and they got they try they always try to be, get like they want to fight when they the the woman wanted to fight more than the guy because we was telling them, hey, look, that didn't happen. It didn't happen the way you said it happened. She want to act like my parents got put in the Holocaust. We had a hundred, a million, couldn't even make it from to the, could hundred million uh, uh, brothers that and sisters that couldn't make it onto the shores of America. Let alone you, 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 you obliterated. They obliterated a hundred million, and they're worried about um, there's some stuff that wasn't true. Maybe they died off the typhus thing, but still they're scoffing. You know, but who, who got it? Yeah. Uh, some uh, Zechariah chapter uh, one verse uh, uh, four. Con, this is uh, directed at our people. It says, "Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, uh, saying, Thus saith the Ahabashim now shall have hosts. Turn ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings." But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. All right, so it's uh, of ancient time. The prophets always go out. The prophets of the nation of Israel go out, and our people do not listen. Because that's all. Because you know, the heathens they they go suck a fucking go chase dinosaurs. It's, this is for the nation of Israel, but they never listen. All right, Yahushua Hamashiach himself said it. All right, we we get sent out before the kingdom falls, and what does Jake do? Rebel. All right, and this is for their own good. It's not like we out there teaching niggas the. We teaching them how to make crack cocaine, teaching them how to make guns so they can shoot themselves. We're giving y'all the keys to salvation, yet you come up uh, up against it, just like your uh, fathers of old. That's how you know who the Israelites are. Oh, God, this is um, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 3, and it reads, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. And um, the Strong's definition for scoffers is G1703, and it reads, a mocker, a scoffer, okay, a derider, a false teacher, 
Okay, and that's what that guy was. Lil Mary, he was he was scoffing, man, in his own in, in his own special way, you know? <laughs> Verse four, mm. and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming?" Right. First of all, he's walking after his own lust. The brothers already seen the guy ride around. You know, and we're pretty sure he already he already saw us on video. You know, walking after his own lust, meaning he thought he's gonna come on the camera and confound brothers. He was lust. He was thinking he could come and just just to, to, uh, make uh, try to make us look foolish and confound us and. And say, look, hey, uh, look, I, I can good, I can uh, break these GMS guys. And hey, look, this this thing is through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon It's not right. of, of GMS. It's the spirit of the power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. We place the spirit on the, the brothers in GMS, the Great Millstone, to really be serious about this, you know. And, 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 and he got he got put to shame. He had to go with his tail between his legs, you know. He was yeah. effeminate too. You know? uh, you know, he, he he had a he had a a, a female a female, womanly spirit on him. You know, what, what do you say, rolling his eyes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what man don't do that shit? You know, because you know we might he might heard to say something in the spirit about some homosexual. He didn't want that. You right. Know? Cause that's what it probably ended up at. You know. Um, you got something, sir? Yeah. This is uh, a Romans. You got more? Uh, well, yeah, I can finish it off. Uh, Still like the book. Oh. Uh, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Right. It, 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 it continued. It's continued. We're, in that, we're in that position now. We're, we're, we're going to get more and more. The, the stuff is going to come more out of the bushes, man. Yeah, you know, out bushes. of the bushes, out of the... Uh, <laughs> Out of the trash cans, up under the rocks, under the rocks, and holes that they're climbing out of, they're gonna slither like snakes. They're gonna come deceptive. They're gonna bring um, signs uh, with, with uh, try to get us put out uh, off the corners, like the brothers. I don't, what, what, what was that country that was in Suriname? The, Suriname. You know the brothers uh, prophesying, and you know, hey, we we get a little, you know, we get there sometimes. You yeah. know, you know they they know we harmless until the. Until we done with, with until we done fishing. <laughs> right. <laughs> until we done fishing, because we right now we out there fishing. You know, we're not coming in there for the for the unlawful. We come we come we're not in there for that crab, that that uh that uh catfish. We were out there fishing for that good fish, that the lawful fish, man. That I mean we just fishing for men, you know, righteous men that's willing to willing to Sacrifice their life for this work, for the truth, in the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Not for, not for us per se, for Yahweh Shai, man. It's the Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know, because you know he put himself up there through the spirit of Yahweh. Yahweh put him up there through the spirit to, you know, to first he was a great example for us on this on this earth, you know. Then, then more, more whole thing was this is for to say to show the elect. The elect was gonna be saved through that, brothers, man. Did our did our Lord save you, man? You know? And so these guys out here playing, thinking we're just some look like a singing group or somebody that they can confound. It's, first of all, it's too many of us. You come Satan jumps on these people, man. So like it, bro. You got you got something to say? No, I don't know. You all got the scripture in the moment? Go ahead. I got something. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Matthew uh, 10 and 24 says the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple uh, that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more should they call them of his household? And that was Jehoshaphat and Mashiach making the point. They, our people back then didn't want to listen to him, the Lord and Savior. How much less are they going to listen to us? All right, showing you, and that links up... Uh, was that the one that you just brought out in the last days? Those are called stoppers. Yeah. They don't want to keep. They, they don't want to keep his saying. They sure as hell not going to keep ours. All right. If the Lord was here back again, it would be the same thing. Who is you? You so and so son. Oh, we ain't blah blah blah. All right. It's it's already been told that they're not going to listen. And dudes like that is lightweight. They think they they get taught whatever they get taught by the so-called white man. And they, yeah. and they think that they can challenge the truth, and that's why. Who always ends up walking away at the end of the day? Who remains standing there? 
continuing on, and then who ends up walking down the street, continuing on with their worthless life? <laughs> yeah. The scriptures not say that they to, that they cannot gainsay nor resist. Either one or two things are going to happen. They're going to walk off, which they usually ninety nine percent of the time they do, or the other percent they'll get enraged and they'll try to start something. And even eventually that works out in our favor. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You got some up? Uh, yeah, kind. Of. This is. Uh, oh, you got something. Up? This is Proverbs chapter uh, 14 and verse 6, and it reads, A scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not. Because that's what he really was doing. He was scoffing and so like a scorning, but he really was looking for answers, man. Okay? Right. Time. Time. But knowledge is easy unto him that understand it. And not, we're not bragging and boasting, but those of us under the tutelage the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, we have to understand it, man. We understand this knowledge, man. So if those who got it right, of course there's going to be opposition of those that come up against you, man. Talking shit, mocking. Okay? Kyle, I got some. Uh, you already got some. Go ahead. I'm gonna Kyle, Luke okay, chapter yeah. 21. I'll just give what I had quoted. Luke chapter 21. All right, because and this also answers the question to who, to how you know who Yahweh Bashim Yahshad is dealing with, because that's something that we get asked a lot. That's something that uh, that do say, oh, well, how do you know if God is on your side? How do you know if I'm not right? Well, look at the evidence. If you people were right, all you Christians, then we'd already be in the kingdom. Now look at what we're doing, and look how, look, look at where we were at before, and look where we're at now after. Before uh, uh, the, I'll, I'll just the so-called. Or no, the he the true Hebrew Israelites got back at the slot, got on the streets and started pushing this word. All right, the righteous ones waking up. Look at where we're at now. All right, you Christians, you niggas in the world, y'all had the last hundreds, uh, thousands of years to get things right. You couldn't do it, and here it is, the elders and apostles show up, and now things is getting said in order. So it's evident of who the Lord is dealing with. Shalom, Shalom. Luke twenty-one and fifteen. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. All right, and once again, the scoffers end up walking, and the righteous men continue on talking. That's right. Um, okay, God. This is um, uh, Zechariah seven and uh, ten. It says, and it, it says, let me just go there. It says, and the person not the widow, nor the fatherless, nor the stranger, nor the poor. That none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart, but that was some of the things that he did. He came, he came with an evil intention. So, but when when he came when he came in, he had an evil intention to come and try to confound uh, the brothers. And, and, and it, what his mind was working in is what Satan was dealing with. So I'm pretty sure he rode around the block. Talking about little Larry, and uh, from oh, yesterday, man, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, he and came and tried to. Uh, Think he could, uh, you know, oh, make some dialogue and, and look and come to sh come and, and try to shine in front of everybody else. See, when they when they see brothers on the internet, they want to make it a, this a, 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 a their own show or, or own um, glory. glory, their own glory. God, like oh yeah, I can I can come up and I I can be the one and confound them guys. Yep. But all of these guys, they all they all come with the same arguments every time, you know. And like like the aunt said, you know, the scripture in uh, Luke 21, and the most high heavenly father will give us a mouth of wisdom, which none of our adversaries will be able to gainsay nor resist. Alright, so you can't confound the men of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. We're not gonna be confounded. Alright, we're speaking through the Holy Spirit, man. We're speaking with the with the wisdom that the Most High Heavenly Father has given unto us. You can't confound the Most High Heavenly Father. And that's the reason why the scripture says uh, in the book of Thessalonians. All right, because we're despising these people. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we have is despised, but it's not the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's of, of our own accord. All right, what we have, we have it because the Most High Heavenly Father bless us with it. All right, uh, and this is uh, 1 Thessalonians. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8. It says, He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man. But the Most High, who have also given given unto us uh, His Holy Spirit, all right. So when you when you come up against us and, and we're telling you the truth, uh, technically you you know and you despise what we have to say. Technically you 
you're you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You know. <clears throat> uh, back to Zach Zechariah 7 and 11 it says but they refused to hearken and pulled away their shoulder and stopped mm. their ears that they should not hear so he what he do <laughs> he got mad he, he, he didn't want to hear what we brought out even when the brother confounded him it was just like it wasn't even like wait a minute what the hell I don't know nothing I don't know too much we don't really know we, we don't know what we know we know we know what we know through the spirit but this guy is just coming off his own carnal mind. That's right. You know? So he, he got confounded, and what did he do? He, he, now he don't want to hear it because he looked foolish. And stopped his ear, pulled his shoulder, and rolled off on his bike into the sunset. God. You know? So it says, um, it says, Yea, they made their hearts as adamant, as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law, of, the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. So see... Hey, this was a this was the word that was for, by, even by the former prophets. And some of them, we the former prophets. That's that what uh, in the highways and byways and we and it's the same thing that happened then and it happened now. It's nothing new. It's nothing. And so don't even think it's a strange thing when you see things like this. It's, it's some weirdo things. Even brothers that's just getting out there, brothers that's out there now. We, I mean, we're so used to it. It's like it's like air. We breathe it. You know, it's common. You know, so that's what's going to happen in these days and these times. So hey, those. Little Larry had to ride off, you know, because he was hurt. You know, it was too much blood dripping on the way down the street. Or you, uh, just real quick, because it reminded me when the brother had cut him, he got cut so hard that he didn't even realize he just got put to death. Got like in the movie, if you watch uh, Kill Bill, got the him. last fight, when she was fighting that yeah. good girl and she sliced her head, oh, yeah, the and head. the girl didn't even realize she just got her head cut. She was like, damn. Yeah. And the bitch just fell out, her head slid the fuck off. Yes, wow. they do. Yeah, yeah. Got killed, got cut so hard, and that's how the Lord has set it up. You can't. If we were teaching bullshit, if we were uh, on some wicked carnal nigga shit, we'd already got knocked off the streets. That's that's why y'all can't win when y'all come up. Three state. You got that. This is Acts five, and verse and verse twenty eight. No, Acts five and 30, 38. And now I say unto you. Refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot, ye, ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily, ye be found even to fight against Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. So you can't. So and this counsel is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. So it's impossible for any of you people to overthrow it. Is it is physically, spiritually, everything? For, it's impossible, man. Is it impossible for you to overthrow this truth, man? Because it's of Yahweh by Shemi spirit. It's of his of his works. That's why whenever whenever anybody comes up, they get they get overthrown. They get they get they ask for it spiritually through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi I got something else for this. Please. It's Hebrews four. In verse 12, Hebrews 4 and verse 12, For the word of Yahweh is quick, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, pierce even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit of the, of, and of the joints and marrows, and it is a discerner of the thoughts of the intents of a heart. Because when someone comes up and they get cut through the scriptures, they, they get put to death. They, they literally, because it's like the Apostle Tahar said to, uh, yesterday on the live stream, he said this truth will make somebody want to kill themselves. Physically beating somebody ass won't do that. Spiritually beating somebody ass will. Put, putting them to the point of they basically want to murk themselves because they can't put two and two, and two together because they can't understand this truth. That's what the scriptures say in Proverbs uh, a man can uh, sustain as a firmly, but a wounded spirit who can bear, and that's what happens when people come up. They get they end up with a wounded spirit, and and some people, and hey, some people might actually murk themselves, and it might not be publicized, but somebody might kill themselves. And these last days, these people gonna kill themselves because they gonna have a wounded spirit because they gonna realize everything we said was correct. 
I got some of this. Right, uh, Ezekiel, just basic Ezekiel 3, uh, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads, as an adamant harder than flint. Have I made, so like, have I made thy forehead? Fear them not, neither dis be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. All right, so the, it, we were already told that they're a rebellious bunch of niggas. They're going to come up, uh, like Brother saying, rolling their eyes, smacking their gums, uh, switching with their hips like some little holes, and scoffing against the word. But we're set, well, the Most High commanded us uh, to be against them. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah uh, 15 and 20. It says, I will make thee unto, the, unto the, this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, saith Yahweh, and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. You know, so these people, it's getting even to the to the point where this word is... Um, just, just to, just to uh, revert and go back to the statement that you made earlier concerning uh, the Most High Heavenly Father will give you a mouth of wisdom that none of your adversaries shall be able to gainsay nor resist. When, when, um, when, when, when Stephen was was cutting, and we use the word "cut" as a metaphor to say to say that. Just, just to, uh, just, to, just to go into, you know, as a, as a form of shortly quoting Hebrews four and twelve. All right, how the word is powerful and it cuts like a two-edged sword. When, when, when Stephen was speaking unto those those rebellious Israelites, he was he was cutting them, and the scripture says that they were they were not able to resist the wisdom that was coming out of his mouth. And, and, and that, that we're entering into those time again, that when, it, when we speak this word, it's going to agitate people so deeply to the point where they're, they're going to want to physically harm you, man. All right? And I'm, I'm sure if that, if that guy had opportunity yesterday, he would have he wanted, because he, you can tell he was getting agitated. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. Well, what did you what, you, what do you think? You just came up against a tree? You, you came up against a rock? You came up against men that are full of the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. So when you have folly that come out of your mouth, or you, when you say something fa false, we have this, we're in the spirit to correct that, man. Mm -hmm. The Most High Heavenly Father has placed us here in this earth and has put the spirit to, to, uh, of correction within our mouth, man. So that when you speak things that are off and things that aren't right, we're gonna, we're gonna by, by the spirit within us, we're we're gonna be, we're gonna be, uh, how can I say, uh, provoked to, to to speak the truth, man. To defend the gospel. To defend the gospel. Precept. I got precept real quick. Hold on for a second. Got up. Okay. He said he's stiff necked and uncircum. This is a uh, Acts seven and fifty four. It says he's stiff necked. <laughs> and I'm beholden for it. You stiff that spirit out. You stiff neck and uncircumcised and heart and, ear, and ears. Do you always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did? Yeah, and that's yeah. what he came up and, and tried to resist the Holy Spirit. It was plain and simple. The brother, when the brother broke it down and then got he got confounded about uh, certain things he, he didn't understand, that's when you humble up. At that, but what? Satan and railed up in him. To the point he didn't want to hear. He put it here like the deaf adder. Yeah, he didn't right. want to hear. He didn't want to hear nothing else after that because now he looked foolish in the eyes of, of whoever he was trying to impress. You know, and that's the spiritual demon saying because the rest of the world is Satan. You know, so he says, which of the prophets have your have not your fathers persecuted? You know, and they have slain them, which uh, sh was showed before of the coming of the just one. You know. So before the Habashima side come, you 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 niggas is always gonna do this to the last second of this time, man. You gonna you gonna scoff when you see before you start first seeing the chariots come. Nah, that that the Project Blue Bream crew, they gonna be like that's just the Blue Bream crew. You know what I mean? They gonna say, ah man, that ain't nothing. You know? But when they start saying that vaporize, all that vaporizer, that's what they wanna change. Now they're gonna be willing in the dead of power. You know, they want, they're going to want to, hey, hey, we prophesy, didn't we prophesy in that name? Didn't we say, Lord, Lord? 
You know, now they're going to change their, their, their mind. Now that scripture going to come back into their mind. Um, uh, just one of whom ye have been not, have been, have not yet, yeah, have been now the betrayers and murderers. You were the, you were the same guys that came up and, and on your bikes or on your 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 chariots and just pulled up your wagon your wagon pulled up kind kind just pulled up and got off tried to dust your hand and let me tell you guys something buckle your sandals and walked over you know and tried to say, and try to come with a, with a script thought you was gonna get the uh, control of the whole spot and the, and the apostles got got that ass like Stephen got on them. You know, um, it says, and now betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels mm -hmm. and not and have not kept it. And this will happen. It says, verse 54, it says, and they heard these things and they were cut to the heart mm -hmm. and they gnashed on them with their teeth. But he being full of the Holy Spirit, look up steadfastly unto the heaven and saw the Holy, the, Holy, uh, Holy, the glory of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And um, your house shot standing on the right hand of the most high, the right hand of the most high. But basically, they got mad like that guy. I'm pretty sure everybody, even the ones that watch this on the videos. Okay. Let, let me grab real quick. Real quick real Go ahead, bro. Verse precept. This is uh, Acts six and ten. It says, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Mm -hmm. Then they suffered men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words mm -hmm. against Moses and against. The most high. Mm -hmm. So because they couldn't deal with the wisdom that, that uh Stephen was, was coming with, mm -hmm. you know, here it is. They 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 got upset, they got agitated, got angry, and then they 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 got people to lie on them. Mm -hmm. You know, when when all throughout everything that he was speaking, he was speaking from, from the beginning all the way up until the time that they were they were in now. He was going through their history. So he didn't he didn't blaspheme the words of the most high father. And that's how these these people is. They want to make it seem like we're evil, but we're 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 teaching them the, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Uh, and they hate that because what they couldn't do, they couldn't they couldn't refute it. They're like, damn, he was coming out the scriptures, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then on top of that, it was true. So I mean, and, and it hurt to the heart. So what they do, it was it, it embarrassed them. So they was mad to the point they like shit gone. Fuck this motherfucker up, man. You know. You know how niggas. Yeah, is. niggas is. And we gonna get this we gonna nigga. Get this you nigga, know, man. Get this nigga. I'm gonna get the. Yeah, that's what they said. But look, the Most High guy, the Most High gonna get you. You know, because yeah, what? After all that, he saw the Holy Spirit, man. He saw your how. He saw your how. Shout on the right hand of your how, man. Just wait. Look, man, that was beautiful. That's a beautiful moment, man. You you think you are gonna hurt the prophets and men? That's why we oh, out here having our lives. He don't say yesterday that we were quoting the words of the man that killed Stephen. What the Jake fuck are you talking read. about, bro? Jake don't read. You don't, yeah. Jake don't read. That was that was the words of Stephen. <laughs> That's how hard he got cut out. <laughs> That's why I just said his days. That's why he got cut so hard he didn't realize he got cut. Like if you shoot a nigga in the chest and he don't realize he shoot, he's still fucked. Then the nigga just drop dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or when, when you piece a guy up. You know what I'm saying? He don't know. He, he thinks somebody else in the crowd him. Yeah. So he just turns and starts fighting and crying. <laughs> you know, and, and, and he had a, hey, got cut. It says, and it says, then, verse 57, it says, then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. They didn't want to hear no more. And ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him, man. So y'all have it. If y'all had any chance to do it, y'all be doing that now, you know? Right, right. Go ahead. Go, Mike. Yeah, I got one real quick. Uh, and this is a prayer of the psalmist, okay? Because we're all praying men here. Those of us under the tutelage of the apostles and the elders, we're right. all praying men. So this is, and I'm pretty sure we've all at one point in time prayed for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So this is Psalms 119, chapter starting at verse 41. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord Yahweh, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. And we trust in the word of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So those of you that come up scoffing, coming up as a reproach, we're going to have the right answers, the right words mm -hmm. to send you fleeing in seven different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
uh, continuing on, verse 43. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually forever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. That's what we do, man. We seek these precepts. We're constantly studying, man. We're constantly praying. I don't mean to boast, but y'all can't mess with us, man. We can come to this, okay? Y'all can't fuck with us, man. Okay? As long as the Heavenly Father is dealing with us, it's, it's, y'all gonna always run, man. Right. God, man, the scripture says that in uh, John 7 and 35, he that cometh unto me, and he that believeth upon me, as the scripture have said, yep. out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right. And this is what you're seeing. You're seeing, uh, what is that, Ezekiel 47 chapter? You know, when the waters issued out from the temple, you know, and, and there was different uh, le levels to it, all right? That water that's issuing out is, is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, it's, it's this truth that's, that's, that's flowing in these days. And, and guess what, man? Hey, that, that guy didn't even believe upon Yahweh Shai, as the scriptures have said. Yeah. All right? You know, uh, he had a problem with the with the, uh, with the the image, you know, the, the, the rendition that was created to help our people understand the illustration of, of, of uh, how, the, how the scriptures illustrate the Messiah. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a problem with that. You know, he had a problem with, with, the, with the name. He had a problem with a lot of stuff. And this is how you know that the Spirit of the Lord isn't dealing with them. All right, here it is. How are you going to call upon uh, a, a man as your Savior and you don't even know what his name means? You know, you don't even know the true name. You know, and the scripture says that in the book of uh, uh, Revelation, uh, not Revelation, Romans, the 10th chapter. All right, it says, it says, how can you call on him of whom you have not known? And the only way that the Messiah will be made known unto you He's not going to come to you in a dream. All right? He's not going to come and, and, and stand by your, your bed and, and, to, and to console you and to, and to teach you, man. Right. All right, the way that he's going to teach you, he's going to send his prophets. He's going to send his apostles. He's going to send his teachers. Like it says in the book of uh, uh, Ephesians 4, 4 and uh, 11. All right, this is Romans 10 and 13. It says, for, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, you don't know his name. And, and, and you don't want to know his name. You, you stopped your ears. You know? It says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Are right, we're the, the preachers that are set up, but beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone. We're the ones that are set up to instruct, you know, uh, the house of Israel in a proper way. All right, to, to help them return back to the true Messiah so that they can receive repentance and remission for sins. But you don't want to come back to Yahweh Bashim was shot. You don't want to come back to the true, true uh, Lord. You rather uh, dwindle in that in that uh, that plantation Christianity. All right, just to grab one more. All right, this is Ephesians 4 and 11. It says that he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Mashiach. Mm. And when you look at the word edifying, the word edifying means to be built up. You know, here it is, we're trying to build up, you know, the tabernacles of David, but you have these, these, these retarded niggas, all right, which, 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 they, they never built anything a day in their life, but they're trying to instruct you on how you should build a wall up. No, this is what I'm telling you. Look, you don't have to dig down and, 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 and build upon the foundation. You can just lay the bricks on top of the dirt. You don't even have to use mortar. You can just, you can just lay the bricks on top of each other. The, 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 the weight will, 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 will hold them in place. And next thing you know, that, that wall comes, comes tumbling down on them, man. All right, we're building this up the right way, all right? And, and the, the, the blueprint and the way that we're building this up, we've been given it by, by the Most Heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit, all right? The Holy Spirit isn't working with you. If the Holy Spirit was working with you, you would know the true name of the Lord, man. You would know your true identity. You would know who your enemy is. You would know that, that the image of, 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 that they call Jesus Christ and, and that so-called white man isn't the true image. You know, I got some 
I've got this uh, Jeremiah 1 1 and 17 uh, this is the most high speaking of Jeremiah he said thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee be not dismayed at their faces lest I confound thee before them so we're commanded uh, we're directly commanded to be against you because if we don't the most high will confound us so if we didn't go home and study if we didn't uh, watch the videos, read every day, and then when dudes come up, we just try to be nice and, and try to, the, the most high would, we would be useless. We would be a tool without use. We keep our, we keep our uh, arrowhead sharp, our, which is our mind, but going through these scriptures. We're commit, that's why you said, at least I confound thee, at least I let them win. So mm -hmm. if y'all come up with that bullshit, we're going to come up with the truth every single time. Ain't no get along, uh, go along and get along. You either get right or you get obliterated. Right. That's right. one. Yeah, one. This is uh, Ezekiel um, uh, 2 and 3. It says that he said unto them, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. And they and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Exactly. You know, and it says, For they are uh, impudent uh, children and stiff, -net, and stiff hearted. And do sin, I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shah, He says, and, and they, whether they hear or whether they forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet, yet, shall, uh, yet shall know that there shall be, they have been a prophet among them. So they're going to see, after a while, hey, the, his dream is going his, his dreams going to come in this guy's mind and terrorize him, man. He, 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 most of the time, he just put it in front of him, man, just be like, you just stood in front of the prophet and you scoffed against him, man. And you're going to get obliterated. But we're going to still do this will, his will, whether he here or whether he forbear, man. Because we already know Israel is a, a stiff-necked, stiff-necked and stiff-hearted uh, nation. So what you got to do to them? You got, you know, you got to, some most two-thirds, you're going to have to let them be uh, obliterated through the fire, man. Okay. You know, and then the ones that's going to hear the Most High is going to bring them right in, or, or, or they're going to be one third of a helper, and you know, through the Spirit, they're going to be, you know, saved, you know, through that whole, through that whole uh, process of what's to happen. So, hey, we have no problem with you scoffing and leaving, you know. All it's going to do is make the scriptures true, the, 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 the word of Yahweh Shem outside perfect, you know, because it's, it's happening, and we have no, and we have no ill will. If you niggas come up, watch, and you guys is watching this, that scoffing and thinking in your mind as we speak right now. If you got an issue with it, hey, hey don't come up and get uh, through the spirit and get cut because the Lord is going, the Lord is going to handle handle it, man, all day. You know, no problem, man. So the, the will of the Yahweh Shem Yashar to do this. We're going to go out here to the highways and byways, preach the word. If you want, if you hear, and it, 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 and the Most High deem you fit. You're gonna listen and you're gonna take hold and hearken to it. Hey, that, that it, it could be it could be save you. Or, hey, you don't hear, shoot, you're gonna have that that that, that fire bath, you know? You know, bathe in that in that, that heat, that that time. That in that day when most times about the latest place into a big sand parking lot, big glass parking lot. You know? So hey, take a take a choice. We choose the Lord, man. God. And that that reminds me of uh what Joshua said, you know, in the book of uh, Exodus, if I can uh, find it real quick, in the book of, because uh, I know it's in the book of Exodus, and there's one in the book of Judges. I want to say it's like the, I'll, I'll find it. I'll just keep reading it for a second. Time. It says, verse 6, it says, And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither afraid of their words, though briar and thorns be with them, with thee, and thou hast dwelled among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, be, uh, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Mm -hmm. you know? So, hey, we're going to trade, we, we trade the most wolves, scorpions, uh, anything that could potentially harm us, man. You know, briars and thorns, man. The, the bushes that, that you go get a beautiful flower and it got thorns on it. That type of shit can hurt. You know, you got the, the thorns, the, you know, that stuff that pricks you. You know, you ain't trying to get cut without, you know, well, not physically, you know what I mean? You got, so, you know, we're we going to tread amongst these scorpions, these niggas that's out here that's 
um, thinking they have they have the doctrine that they can change the doctrine, or the world the world uh, sits behind them, or we they they have the they have the true knowledge. They can ride up on their bike and give us what they know. Now they found out. <laughs> now they found out. You know that's the, they, they. Now they found out. Basically, you find out that they. You, they. They. I bet he never come back again. Look, Larry, look, look, don't come back. You know, <laughs> <laughs> don't come back. <laughs> if you, if you do, love <laughs> right? That, yeah, he'd be like that. Key, key, do you love me, Daddy? We don't love nobody but y'all. About shine That's right, man. That's it. You got it. It's actually in the book of Joshua, the twenty-fourth chapter, and I'm gonna read okay. from verse fifteen. It says, and if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, choose you this day whom you would serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that the, the name of the Lord is Yahweh. All right? And how do you serve Yahweh now? You know, since he sent the son, well, first you have to believe upon the son. All right? It says... And the people answered and said, uh, The Most High forbid that we should forsake uh, Yahweh to serve other gods. It says, For Yahweh our power, for, for Yahweh our power, he, uh, he it is that brought us up and our, and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, and which did, uh, these, which did those great signs in our sight and preserved, pervert, so like it, preserved us and all that, and all the way where we went, and among all the people through whom, whom we passed. And Yahweh drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which dwelt in the land. Therefore will we also serve Yahweh, for he is our power. And Joshua said unto the people, You cannot serve Yahweh, uh, for, for he, is hold, uh, he is in holy power, he is a jealous power, he will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake Yahweh and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that uh, he have done you good. You know, and when you serve Jesus Christ, all right, when you serve uh, Allah, all right, you serve the strange gods. Th those aren't the gods of the Bible. You know, even though the name Jesus Christ is written there in the Bible, that's not the true name of the Messiah, right? And that's a stumbling. That's a, and that's a stumbling block for for a lot of our people. And and and, and you know what? That fulfills the scripture. It says that the land you shall go into, you shall serve other gods, wood and stone. All right, because you put up relics. You know, you put up um, the 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 wooden crosses. All right, you put up you put up uh, crosses to represent Jesus. Jesus Christ, not Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and you put more trust in, in those wooden relics than you do in the, in the man that actually died on it and, and rose up again. Mm -hmm. And then you also turn and face the east, the east the, uh, prick towards Mecca. That's serving other gods. That's not serving the, the power of the Bible, man, which we're telling our people to turn back to the, to the true power, the power of the Bible, you know, through his son Yahweh Shai, which is the doorway. But you don't want to hearken unto us because we're men that, that have not went to college. We don't have a, a, a degree from a theologian seminary. You know, uh, we don't have, uh, we, didn't, we didn't go and pay a bunch of money for this knowledge. All right, we don't dress up in fancy suits. You know, you're looking on the outward appearance and you're looking at things that are unprofitable. All right, when does it say in the Bible that we have to go to a theologian seminary school to learn the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? The scripture says that this wisdom is going to be poured out from all high. It's the most heavenly father that gave us his wisdom. Why do you think in Acts uh, 4 and 13, it says that they marvel at, at, at Peter, and I believe that was, uh, I, I believe that was uh, Peter, and I forget who was, who was with them, but it says, and they, and they took note it, that these men being, uh, being unlearned and ignorant, they took note that they had been with Yahweh Shai. All right, Peter, the reason that they said that they were unlearned and ignorant is because they didn't go to the colleges within Jerusalem to learn the law, to become studied up in the law. Everything that they learned, they learned from Yahweh Everything that we learned, we learned through the apostles of Great Millstone, which they, they learned through, through their elders, you know, which got all of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Holy Spirit, man. Yeah, John, uh, you know, it was Peter, John, Peter and John. John. You, and they took note that they, that the, um, it says that they were unlearned and ignorant men. 
You know, to the eyes of the world, we are unlearned ignorant. All right, the knowledge that we have, the wisdom that we have, you know, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't reside with them. And the reason it doesn't reside with them is because they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh If they had the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh they would have never crucified them 2,000 years ago. And they have that same spirit working them in, in them now. They're crucifying Yahweh Shai right now. How are they crucifying Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai said, I will send unto you servants and prophets whom you shall crucify. All right? And he said that whatsoever you have done unto the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. So we're coming in the name of Yahweh Shai. And look what you're doing unto us. So it's like you have done it unto him all over again. So how can you be uh, 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 acquitted? How can you be not guilty? When the Lord comes back to, to bring up these charges against you. Okay. You're not going to be acquitted. Yeah, that's that. And you know how you're going to be, you know, you're going to know that fire going to burn the shit out of you, you know. going to bake you. So, I got another priest. Gotta bring it up. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 11 and 10. It says, they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. All right. When you worship Jesus Christ, you work, you actually worship in Tammuz. All right. Which, which Tammuz is a, is a, is a deity, what, help me out, it's going back to Babylon, right? Mm -hmm. You know? That, uh, when you worship that cross, you're worshiping the teeth of Tammuz, man. Alright, when you worship Mary, alright, you're worshiping uh, 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 Semiramis. You know, when you're worshiping uh, Allah, you're worshiping the rock. Alright, you turn back to the iniquities of your forefathers to worship the same gods that they were driven into captivity for worship. The only difference is this shit is remixed. The so-called white man just calls him by different names. That's the, that's the only difference. But it's the same God, and it's the same demon and devil behind it. It's the same energy behind it. It says, which refused to hear my words, and they, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I have made uh, with their fathers. Therefore, 